Sparkling with some rosemary, limon, sockeye, salmon. Ooh, baby. We're going to side it with some asparagus spears and topping it off with that honey, garlic, fingerling potatoes. Now, I brought the uh, salmon over. I'm going to show you the nice big piece that I have just in a moment. But we're going to be pairing that. I'm going to be spreading over our rosemary, limones, parsley flavor from our collection of spice bean butter. Uh -huh. You're going to be able to get yours. Just go to spicebutter.com. Go there now. And by, while you're at it, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe here. Mm -hmm. Now, I've warmed already the, um, I've melted the cubes, actually the squares of the spice bean butter. And this is what we have. Just stir it up a little bit there, see? Oh, it smells so filled with rosemary. It smells like a spa in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Ladle this on a spoon. I can just bring the entire container over here. And you can see it. I'm gonna put it underneath and stuff it in here. It's best to have it, you know, um, in a smooth texture like this, as so, instead of the solid, so that you can easily stuff your meat, salmon, whatever, you know. What are we going to stuff? We're going to bake it for about uh, 15 minutes. And um, we're going to flip it so that we can have the skin side up. I had to glove my other hand. Let's just flip this. Hope it cooperates. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. And this is going to be the only seasoning you need. You know what, I was gonna put a little bit of salt on that side, so let me just get my salter and just put a little bit of salt on this side, on both sides. You know, the spice bean butter, it's like a, a bouillon meets um, grass-fed butter without the salt. I don't have a lot of salt in it, and you can salt it on, you know, to your own accord. Okay, the water has began to boil, and we're going to put the fingerling potatoes in there for about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add them. Okay, we'll do a little bit at a time. Now I can just go ahead and put the rest in. So as I said, only for about five minutes, because we want these to be a little bit softer before we put them into the, the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and put like a half a teaspoon of salt into the mix here. And this is the only salt we're pretty much going to use for the uh, potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and let that boil for five minutes. And then we're going to mix it with our honey and garlic concoction. It's um, a mixture of a half a cup of honey. And then we have like a half a cup of garlic cloves and uh, a, a teaspoon of star anise. And it's gonna give it a little bit of punch of a, of a twist of, of sweetness. 
Hey, we got some real goods going on tonight. You've got to be able to try this meal, and especially those spice bean butter seasonings. Oh, they make the meal go fab, baby. Cheers to you. This is about uh, two pounds of asparagus, and I, you see how I cut the ends off um, quite low so that they can be quite tender. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. I don't like to add too much to my vegetables when I'm going to roast them because they have their own flavor and that a little bit of salt will bring out the flavor. We're adding about a half a teaspoon of salt to um, the... And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven also with the potatoes at, at that same temperature of 425 degrees, but it will be in there for like 20 minutes. And the potatoes will be softer as well because we're parboiling them. Okay, we have our potatoes here now. Let me just move it over a little bit for you. And this is um, one bag of um, fingerlings and I cut them in half. Oh, they're really hot. You know, this entire meal is uh, really healthy for you. I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic. You know, garlic is really um, one of those uh, uh, health benefits um, that we just can't steer clear of, or you should not. Now, this is a combination of garlic cloves um, and uh, the honey and star anise. And I'm gonna start just adding it slowly to the potatoes and rubbing them over the potatoes. Oh, I smell the garlic and it smells so good and it tame, it's tamed down with the honey. Uh, yes. Yeah, the garlic, it increases your, you know, your body immune system. I said to also decrease your heart, I mean your high blood pressure if you suffer from that. Place the potatoes in first and then put the, the liquids over them. And the next time you see this meal, it will be all prepared for you. Ha! Rosemary Lamon. Baked broiled salmon with our roasted asparagus. And topping it off with the honey roasted garlic. Fingerling potatoes. Mm, baby, I know you can't wait for your taste, right? Here you go. Nice piece of salmon there. A fingerling potato and those asparagus. Ooh, that salmon looks so moist. Here you go. Here you go, baby. Take it out. Oh, I can't wait. I just want to try the uh, salmon first. Mm. I taste that rosemary. Oh, it's good. Mm hmm. Let's try the fingerlings. You know, I tried the fingerlings a little earlier. Oh, so right. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta make this. You gotta make this meal. Check it out. Like and subscribe right now. Go to spicebutter.com. We get the rosemary lemon parsley with spice bean butter. Yes. Check it all out. You can have it too. Mm.